a barometer altimeter board. They said it is inside the envelope. There's the envelope. <laughs> then in the box, I got a whole bunch of cardboard to keep it stabilized. So, yeah. Uh, got to pay a $10 fee. And I had to argue with Ham Radio where I got this to ship it overnight. Otherwise, they want to ship it United States Postal Service. Takes seven to ten days to get here. Well, I'm paying nine ninety nine. I'm sick of them having the authority to determine the fastest or the cheapest shipping method for them, so they can keep their profits. I paid it. I paid the full retail. Then I had to pay an extra tax on it because it was prior to shipping. So a thirty six dollar item now becomes a fifty dollar item to get it to you. Here we go. It's a little tone board. It's just gonna remove the battery. Pull off that black covering. This thing snaps into place. And they give you a new black covering to put over it. Yours doesn't stick. And uh, should be a simple procedure. Hello, how are we doing today? Today we're going to do an install of the SU-1 barometer altimeter. Little board that goes in the back of the uh, 706. It's just kind of got things laying out here. We're going to remove that little black plastic covering and this board let me get this opened up it's just going to slide into it or pop in and then you put that black covering in over it but they do give you a new one in the uh, box supposedly so let's proceed just in having the right position once it's on position you just push down a little click snap whatever you want to call it pop i got my flashlight shining on it I'm trying to get that thing in there little detent where it sits in a little recess so just line it up press it down and good to go what i just got to do is go reference the manual and uh, go into the menu and set it up so uh, i can choose it to report either altimeter or barometer i could care less about the, uh, the barometer pressure i can get that from a weather station or just tune to the <laughs> Rolling a weather channel on the airport 118.375 and I get that. So what I want, altimeter, how high am I? What's my elevation? Let us proceed. I'll just post the instructions down here. I copied and pasted out of the online manual and then I'll show you what the National Weather Service calls for the barometer pressure locally. I calibrated it somewhere between the two of them, which were about nine miles apart. Way to adjust your barometric pressure. I haven't listened to the local airport to figure out what that is. We're showing 1001. So I'm going to exit out of there and just push save the settings. Let me uh, listen to the weather station airport and we'll be right back. And there we go. It came back on 328 feet. So that's twice it came up at 328, so I assume my upstairs bedroom is 328 feet above sea level. Also, if you hit FW0, let's rotate it to temp, hit zero again, you can see the internal working temperature of your radio. So if everything is getting hot in your hand, you're worried about that, just do that, and that'll uh, get you in and out of there, and you can see what your temperature is. to adjust your barometer pressure I haven't listened to the local airport to figure out what that is we're showing 1001 so I'm going to exit out of there and just push save the settings let me uh, listen to the weather station airport and we'll be right back
Not sure why that's in there saying that. Oh, come on. You know, I'm going to check the National Weather Service. I can't understand what the hell they're saying. Okay, I've showed you a screenshot. National Weather Service says altimeter or the barometer pressure is 1024.2. It's saying it's 1,001. It was at 999 calibrating itself. So I don't know if I should change that. Made a difference in the elevation or not. So I guess I got to read on how to change it. I turned the knobs, it doesn't do a thing. So, hmm. Okay, so I came outside. I went F0, 0, zero to FW, I re-calibrated it for 1,024, just like the thing said on the website. I'm only a couple miles that way from the National Weather Service, only about five or six miles south of the airport. So now we have it set, 1,024. And they give me my downstairs outside ground level here. Elevation is 298. So <laughs> if we go up 10 feet in elevation to the second floor, it's not going to be 328 anymore. It should be 308. So anyways, I think we're a little bit more appropriate and we got it better calibrated. That's what you would do. Simple procedure, not the easiest, but you got to understand uh, Iezu's uh, instructions. Probably better written than an Oshan or a Balfang or a TYT could ever hope to be. Anyways, hope you like. Please like, share, subscribe, share this video. And if you have the kindness out of your heart, donate to us on our uh, links there provided in the description below. Everybody be safe, 7-3, and God bless you.